Displacement Reactions Between the Halogens, Group 7, by kscience.com. This diagram has been taken from the periodic table and represents Group 7, in which these elements are also known as the halogens. This arrow shows how reactivity decreases going down the group. Therefore, fluorine is the most reactive halogen and astatine is the least reactive halogen. So in the context of halogens, displacement reactions is when the more reactive halogen will displace a less reactive halogen from the salt. So what happens when we have a solution of sodium chloride, NaCl, reacting with a solution of fluorine, F2? Well, we can see fluorine is more reactive than chlorine because fluorine is above chlorine in group 7. And chlorine is less reactive than fluorine because chlorine is below fluorine in group 7. Therefore, fluorine will kick out chlorine from the salt. Or in other words, fluorine displaces chlorine from the salt. The products are sodium fluoride and chlorine. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Displacement reactions between halogens involve either a solution of the halogen or a solution of the halide salt. Remember, a solution means a substance is dissolved in water. So in both examples, either the halide salt or the halogen are dissolved in water. To understand what happens when halogens react, you need to know the color of solutions of halogens and solutions of halide salts. So chlorine solution, which is Cl2, Aq for aqueous, has a pale green color. You can recognize chlorine solution by the pale green color. Bromine solution, which is Br2, Aq for aqueous, has a yellow color. You can recognize bromine solution by the yellow color. Iodine solution, which is I2, Aq for aqueous, has a dark red-brown color. You can recognize iodine solution by the dark red-brown color. Whereas a halide salt solution, such as sodium chloride or potassium iodide, they are colorless. A halide salt solution is always colorless. They have no color. They are colorless. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to build on what we've just learned so we can understand what happens when chlorine reacts with lithium bromide to produce lithium chloride and bromine. Pause the video now to see if you can write the balance symbol equation for this chemical reaction. The answers will follow. In your exam, you could get an exam question asking you what is seen when a halogen reacts with a halide salt. We're going to use the above chemical reaction to understand how to approach this exam question. Well, we know chlorine solution is a pale green color and lithium bromide solution is colorless because halide salt solutions are always colorless. The more reactive chlorine displaces the less reactive bromine from the halide salt. So this forms lithium chloride which is colorless and then left in the solution is going to be bromine which is a yellow color the less reactive halogen always controls the color of the products it's question time attempt these questions to check your understanding
you're now going to complete this task about the displacement reactions of halogens. So this column shows the halogen solution and this row shows the halide salt solution. Potassium chloride, potassium bromide and potassium iodide. Your task is, if there is a reaction, then what are the products? So your aim is to think to yourself, is there a chemical reaction between this halogen and this halide salt? If there isn't, you write no reaction. And if there is, you write the products in this chemical formula. Pause the video here to complete the task and the answers will follow. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.